What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles' YouTube channel. Today, we have the Road to States Top 4, and we are playing against Mark, who actually we did the interview last week where he talked about and discussed the Entei deck, and this time around, he is playing the Entei deck again, and we are once again playing the Raichu Bats deck in Top 4. If we win this, we move on to the finals. If not, we do play for the consolation of getting 3rd or 4th place. So regardless, we have one more match after this, and let's see what happens. Um, we get a Jirachi start, double Zubat. And I imagine, I'm actually already, like, I'm not playing the game right now. I actually recorded this early in the game, or early in the day. I just woken up, and Mark's like, let's play. And so we, we recorded the game, and we'll find out together what happens. We see Mark does Mulligan, and we start double Zubat. And we get a Love Ball, we can get another Pikachu, we can Ultra Ball, discard maybe the Jirachi, or we can, I wonder if I decide to keep the Jirachi or not, because we know that Mark does play the DC East of Power Pins in days. Um, there's an intake coming down, and let's see what he decides to do here. Um, there's a muscle band going down to the intake. We see a assault vest going down to the intake as well, making it where it does minus 40 from the uh, special energy Pokemon. We see Shebe coming up to draw four cards, and it does have flame screen and heat tackle. Uh, flame screen does 30 and minus 20 from the defending Pokemon, and heat tackle does 130. Um, I'm not sure if, it, if there's any, like, downs. Oh, you flip a coin of tails, you do 30 damage to yourself. All right, on to our turn. Let's see what I decided to do. We Ultra Ball. Probably discard. Uh, so we discard the Jirachi and the Raichu. Probably get out of Shaman. And looking to see what's all prized in the deck. Uh, we'll probably get out of Shaman and then Love Ball for a Pikachu. And probably attach the DC to Pikachu and just use the Shaman to draw some cards. And we're just looking to see what's all in the deck right now. Okay. Let's see what we decide to get. And I imagine, like I said, we'll grab Shaman and press done. And then we'll probably get the Love Ball to get out of Pikachu. And it's going to be interesting to see if I make any misplays on my side. Uh, we'll get a Pikachu. Put that guy down. Put a P DC to the Pikachu. Um, hmm. All right. So maybe I decide to... Oh, oh my goodness. That's a bad hand. Uh, maybe I decide to conserve the DC... Um, that way, if he does, if we don't get another Pikachu down and he lights centers up, that's a waste of DC. And we really don't draw into anything, so onto our opponent's turn. He gets a Blacksmith, going to get two Fire Energies out of his discard pile and attach it to an Entei. But it's just one. We see a DC go down as well. And we're going to see a Flame Screen doing 50 damage because of that Muscle Band knocking us out. Now we do have, we can send up the Pikachu. We can sit up, uh, evolve into Raichu, and let's see, what are we top deck? We top deck a Bronzong, alrighty. Well, we can sit up Raichu, put a DC to Shaman, and the Sky Return to Zubat, which is probably our only real option. And, because we don't want to sit up the Raichu, we don't want to get that to get knocked out. We see a Sky Return. I'm not really sure why I didn't play the Sky Field down. I definitely should have put the Sky Field down, so that way he couldn't discard an energy, a Fire Energy with the Scorched Earth to draw two more cards. Um, but let's see if that even matters, does he use this, oh, he doesn't even use the Scorched Earth, we just see another Flame Screen, and actually if you notice, it did zero damage because of the Flame Screen, minus 20, and then Assault Vest, minus 40, we see a Life Center top deck, which is not good, that's not what you want to see, there's the, uh, Skyfield coming down, we see a Sacred Ash, getting back some Pokemon, uh, double Zubat, Odrachi, and a Raichu, we'll pro I'll probably Life Center up the Shebe, so we could try to take two prize cards this turn, so we Life Center up Shaman, we will drop our own Shaman, draw on three cards, and let's see. Do we get some Pokemon? Uh, nope, not really. We get down to Pikachu, and we can Circle Circuit for uh, 80 damage. Yep, just some easily little 80 damage. Oh, man. If we had one more Pokemon, we could have knocked out Shaman and maybe get back into this game. We see a Fire Energy go down to Shaman. We see a Trainer's Mel. Look at top four cards of his deck. Getting a Trainer's Mel, and he can use the, the letter... To get two fire energies, he does get the scorched art as well, so he can discard more fire energies to start drawing more cards. And let's see, so he gets the scorched earth, he gets the two fire energies, uh, discard the fire energy, draw two cards of scorched earth. We see an acrobike, okay. And let's see what he gets off the acro. Oh, we won't know what he discards. We know he discards the fire energy. That's all we really know. And let's see what else he can do here. Okay, we see a retreat into Dante. There's a blacksmith put a two fire energies onto that Entei. Now the big question is, who do I send up? Do I send up the Raichu or I mean the Pikachu, or do I send up the Shebe? We see it heads, so it doesn't do 80 damage to itself, uh, which is kind of bad. 
we see if Sin of Pikachu, it looks like I'm going to go for the Pikachu play. Well, Sin of Pikachu, we get a Crobat top deck, which is not great. And we'll probably play Sycamore. We need to hit some Pokemon for sure. All right, so we get down a Zubat. We get down a Raichu. And the big question is, what did I do? Hopefully, I just retreat into like a Zubat and pass. Uh, look, Nope, looks like I'm a Circle Circuit and do like 20 damage. So I'm not really sure why I decided to do that. Like, we should have definitely just retreated into the Zubat. Let it get knocked out and then hit, try to hit, you know, some more Pikachus the following turn. Because if he does knock us out right now, we don't really have a retaliation. We see a Fire Engine going out of the Entei. We see a Charizard, a Muscle Band, Rainer's Mel. And let's see what he decides to get. He could get a Verse Seeker, maybe knock out Shaman EX this turn. Um, there's a Parallel City. So not only does he play Square Strength, he plays Parallel City as well, which is great for us. See a Lysander, bring it up Shaman. It looks like he's going to go aggressive to take two prize cards. And I actually really do like this play. It makes it where next turn, all he has to do is knock out any Pokemon he wins this game. So he's going to fright you. And let's see what do we get. We get the Golbat. Put 20 damage to the active. And we need to play it. Man, if N was legal, we, we need to play an N. But N is not legal. Uh, we're going to verse. You could probably grab that Sycamore. I imagine we don't grab the Birch. It's, we already have Birch in our hand. I'll uh, we'll play the Sycamore. Discard our hand. Draw seven new cards. And let's see. Can we knock him out or not? We get down a Bronzor. We get down a Zubat. So we're doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, uh, minus 40, 80. 19, 11, 12. I think that's right. Not really sure. I think, huh? 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I oh, know. 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, no, that only been 60. So that would have been knocked out. But there we see a Stardust discarding that DC. And now Drachi can't be hurt this turn unless our opponent has a Lysander. We see another Scorch Church coming down and another letter. And going to probably discard a Fire Energy. Probably look. Uh, he could retreat into Entei and just knock us. Oh, he can't hit us regardless. But there we see a Verse Seeker. Probably grabbing the Lysander. Or, okay, a Blacksmith. Um, He could just grab a Lysander, bring up Bronzong, and knock us out. Um, I type boo. <laughs> I think I said boo, but didn't type it in because um, we can't start us to turn and basically protect us from winning. Because right now he's guaranteed himself to win the game. Unless we can Verse Seeker... And uh, for Lysander, bring up like a Charizard and or the uh, Shaman and maybe stall that way. But I'm here. I'm looking through his discard pile, trying to see how many Blacksmiths and how many uh, how many Blacksmiths and Verse Seekers he's played. Like really, our only option is to Lysander, bring up the Charizard and pass. Um, let's see if I do that play or not. Because even if we knock out the Entei, he could just retaliate with the Bench Entei. So we're definitely in a pickle. And let's see what I decide to do. I, I hopefully I Lysander somebody up. Uh, maybe the other Entei. So here's the Lysander, and let's see who I bring up. Um, no, don't bring up Shaman. Okay, um, no, don't bring up Entei. Okay, I guess Entei has a 2 or 3 cost. And we will just do Stardust. Not, we do 10 damage. And on to our opponent's turn. And let's see what happens. Uh, he needs a DC to retreat. I think Charizard EX has a 2 or 3 uh, two or three cost as well. Uh, we see a Scorched Earth. Did I not play that Parallel City? I mean, the Skyfield. I don't know why I didn't play the Skyfield down. That's definitely a mistake on my part. We see a Zoltfest coming down as well. But does he have the DC to retreat the uh, the um, the Entei? We see another Trainer's Mel. There's an Ultra Ball. Alrighty. And there's an Ultra Ball discarding a Sycamore in a Parallel City. He'll probably grab down another Shaman to draw two cards. Okay. Or another Ultra Ball discarding a Verse Seeker and a Lysander. Alrighty. And this will probably get down to Shaman. Or maybe he doesn't have any Shamans left in deck. Let's find out to get... Okay, oh, his last card in his hand was Shaman. There we go. So the Shaman, Shaman dropped to 6. Does he hit the DC or not to retreat the Entei? And let's find out together. Uh, Verse Seeker probably grabbing a Sycamore. Okay, so he's going to keep on digging. He is looking for a way to retreat this Entei. And there's a Sycamore discard his hand. John 7, new cards does he get a dc or not i mean he's only played one so far but there's a dc going to ante and we'll see a retreat and the ante will knock us out so we see one oh yeah two dcs in discard pile so they're pro remotely like he had what one prize card left so the odds of him not having in his deck is very low we know he plays four but 
it is best two out of three, so we get to play one more game. I mean, that game, we didn't get set up at all. Like, we had a horrible start. So we'll try again. Maybe this time around, we'll have a good start. Maybe get some more Pokemon down, because that was just horrible. Like, we really didn't see our deck really do anything. Um, so we're looking for an opponent here. And let's see what happens. Um, hopefully our game is a little bit more exciting because that was just that was just terrible. But I mean that does happen sometimes. We do a lot. We do play a lot of Pokemon, and we're taking a second to get paired. Um, click the right you flare on. Press accept, and let's see. On to game two. We do like I said, it is best two out of three, and we do get to go first in this matchup. But that's also really scary because he can retaliate with an intake turn one. Um, and we'll call the coin flip always to call heads, and we won the coin flip, which I mean, it doesn't really matter. We're going to go first regardless. Um, yes, we're about to go first, and let's see what happens this game. Hopefully, it's a little bit more exciting for us. Um, well, he said, good luck, have fun, but right now, it's, uh, uh, <laughs> let's see what I type. Well, LOL, it might be good game, because we have a bronzer right now, and that's pretty much it. All right, we start Charizard. All right, so we put down an Ultra Ball, discard a, a Metal and a Lysander. So we top deck, uh, pretty much the top deck of the century. Uh, we get down to Shea Bay. Yeah, let's see what I say here. Let's see, that bad. Okay. All right, I said that bad of a start. All right, so top deck the Ultra Ball. I'm just telling him, like, I, I got very lucky here. All right, so we put down Skyfield. We'll probably put, uh, do we put down DC or not? Okay, we'll play Shaman, draw three. We get down to Pikachu. And we still don't have a supporter card. Oh, man, I probably should attach the DC to Shaman. Well, I don't know. I don't know if attaching Shaman even helps because um, if we Sky Return and then our only Pokemon left is Pikachu, we could just lose the game. So we're left in a weird spot, but let's see what happens this turn. We see an Ultra Ball from Mark discarding double Fire Energy. Getting the intake coming down. Okay, so intake coming down into play. And we see an Ultra Ball discarding and Lysander. Another Ultra Ball. So he has three Ultra Balls turn one. Wow. So three out of four Ultra Balls are in his hand starting out. And let's see what the other card is. Show me Switch. Oh, nope. Uh, Parallel City. So we have three Pokemon on our side of the field. We see Shaman drawn up to six. And let's see what happens. We see an Acrobite. Good look at top two cards of his deck and pick a poke, uh, pick a card. He discards a Scorched Earth. He can't put down another stadium. If you don't know this, you can't put down two stadiums in one turn, even if you are going to counter react, uh, counter uh, act them. So uh, that's something you have to pay attention to. We see a training smell for an Acrobite. Okay. We see an Acrobite. Look at top two cards of his deck and just going to pick another Pokemon. Okay, so you just got the first seeker. Actually, just realized in the top right corner, you're probably seeing two Team Fish Knuckle signs. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, but it's too late now. We see an Ultra Ball discarding some more stuff. He is digging hard. So another Shaman coming down. Um, does he get the turn one knockout? There's a DC going on Charizard. We see a Shaman. Does he get the Blacksmith or not? Is the big question. He's dug through half of his deck already. He has 27 cards left. Oh, and there's a Blacksmith. He plays like three or four of these, so that's it's not that crazy. And we will see a, a wing attack for a knockout, do 120 damage. And let's see, oh, it does 80? Uh, what? Oh, it does base 40? I thought it did base 60. I don't know, maybe I'm seeing things. All right, we tell like a DCE, and our only out right now is to nuzzle. Um, yep, that's really all we can do. We can nuzzle and hopefully hit heads. Let's see what happens. Nope. Tails with Pika P. Alright, so the Charizard is not even paralyzed. I know Mark doesn't play any Switch cards. I mean, in his old list, he didn't. Uh, maybe in his new list, he does. We see a Verse Seeker, and let's see what he decides to grab. A Lysander. Going to bring up that Shaman and take two prize cards, going down to three. And, yep, and we will see a Combustion Blast. Not going to zap. We see a Fire Engine going to Inte, and Combustion Blast doing 130 damage. We'll send up Pikachu, and let's see what happens. Uh, we need a top deck of the century. What do we get? And we get uh, Skyfield. Alrighty, well, this is great. Uh, we got to go for another Nuzzle. That's all we can re realistically go for. What's in our discard pile? Lysander for, uh, okay. Oh, we should have probably Lysander last turn. Uh, well, I mean, he had a Fire Energy anyway, so he could have just retreated Shaman. So we set up Shaman, and we will... Well, I'm not even sure why I brought up the Shaman, because he could have just... Um... Oh, we see a Tails regardless. Um, because all you had to do... Well... 
now all he has to do is retreat the shaman. Whereas last time, um, he would actually have to double retreat. We see a muscle band, a muscle band. And I guess he's showing that he could tackle us with Intei. We see a Scorched Earth coming down. We see a Blacksmith. So yeah, regardless of that Lysander play, he could have knocked us out with his Intei if he has an energy. Uh, there's a Shaman drawn up to six. Does he get an energy to retreat the Shaman is the big question right now. And there's a DC. And uh, so both games, we don't get set up and we pretty much get demolished by this deck. I'm not really sure how it goes. Like, neither game we got set up. Um, so we see Gabusha Boss knocking us out doing 150 damage. And that's the game. Um, so not very exciting. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. I know it's probably not the most uh, exciting thing to watch us get destroyed by not drawing anything. But it does happen to Pokemon. Especially we play a deck with a bunch of Brightu and Crobats and um, Bronzongs and stuff like that. But if you want to see the list, I'll leave a link down below where you can see the deck in action. I think it was on Main Deck Monday last week. So you can see that, and you can see the list and everything. But hopefully you have a great day. Thanks for watching. And in the next video, we actually play for third slash fourth place because in Road to States, when you lose in top four, you actually play for third and fourth place because they actually give different points. Third gets more points than fourth place. So that's something you always have to point out. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day already.